I just like smeared glitter on my leg. My legs are covered with glitter right now. Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur and in today's video I've got four products from the equestrian company Twinkle. I'm gonna show you what to expect from them as well as what I did and didn't like about each product. Twinkle is an equestrian company out of Oregon, USA that specializes in glitter cosmetics for horses. Now on their website they say you can also use it on other livestock as well as dogs. Their products are made in the USA with mostly US sourced ingredients. I love the idea of a small company run by equestrians who develop their own product and make their own product and use it on their own horses. This is my jam. I am about this. So I ordered a couple of different things to get an idea of what their product range covers and the differences between the items. I bought an iridescent glitter spray and two kinds of hoof polish. Twinkle's products are available on other commonly used equestrian websites like Chick Saddlery, Stateline Tack, and Dover, things like that. But they also have their own website. I ordered directly from their website and had great service. They sent me email confirmations the entire way, which I love email confirmations. Your order has been received. Your order has shipped. And my package arrived quickly despite the pandemic. I ordered the Rainbow Dust Body Spray, Twinkle Toes Satin Hoof Polish in Cool Purple, and Twinkle Toes Glitter Hoof Polish in Gold. When my package arrived, I discovered the company had included some of their glitter stencil gel as a free gift. <gasps> okay. So I'm gonna review this one too. This video is not sponsored. Nobody sponsors me. I don't have sponsorships. <laughs> Except for the glitter gel added as a gift, I spent my own money on this stuff. <laughs> The Rainbow Dust Spray. I was very excited for this product. This was actually the entire reason for my order from this company. I had visions of putting on Artex's silver glitter unicorn horn and spraying this iridescent spray all over him and have him gleaming like a magical diamond. I was just gonna go for a trail ride like that. <laughs> like, I don't have a parade or a show or anything to go to. I was just gonna... I was just gonna ride like that. The ingredients are mostly alcohol and water with some parabens, dimethicone, hairspray with some glitter in it. I sprayed it on both my horses, on their manes and on their backs. On Artax, I got nothing. Not even a tiny glimmer. Maybe in full bright noonday sunshine, it might flicker a little, but I couldn't even see it on him at all and I sprayed a lot. I could feel the spray when it dried. It made his coat kind of stiff and crunchy, but no glitter. Hairspray, but no glitter. So on the mane, this was super annoying because it made the whole mane look wet, but then was stiff and dry and wouldn't flow in the breeze. On Sunny, I could see a tiny bit of shine on his chestnut coat, but it was still so faint it didn't even show up on camera. I suspect the problem lies in the fine cut of the glitter. I don't even know if I can show you. With glitter, the larger the particles are cut, the more light it can reflect and the brighter and shinier the glitter looks. In this spray is the most microfine glitter I've ever seen in my entire life. And I get it, if they used a larger cut, it would clog up the sprayer. There's even instructions on this, what to do if the sprayer gets clogged. So you know even with this teeny tiny, teeny tiny, teeny tiny glitter, it still happens. Ultra Fine Mist enhances entire horse with subtle tiny glitter for an all over shimmering effect. Okay, it was very subtle but it was not shimmering. I wonder if the colored rainbow dust spray shows up better than this iridescent frost. If you've used the twinkle rainbow dust spray in one of the colors, leave me a comment and let me know how it worked for you, what did and didn't happen. The glitter gel was my free gift and I was so excited to get a freebie. Why does it feel so good to get something for free? <laughs> and they sent me the color emerald green. Now this item wasn't on my order list because just recently I had ordered some glitter gel from the Davis brand. I did a video review of that. If you missed that, you can click up here and check out that video as well to see how the Davis glitter gel worked. So this was cool to have this product to be able to compare it to the Davis one and see which one performed better for me. The consistency of this twinkle gel is kind of like mucus. Oh my god, there's like a bubble. The Davis gel was more like gel or jelly. This has a viscosity. This is more like a mucusy texture. So there, um, that looks like a lot, but it's a blob. You can like see how it sticks up. If we pat it out and make it even, it's immediately patchy. And that's how it does on your horse as well. 
Just like with the Davis gel, one coat of this is not enough to reach any sort of opacity. And if you don't let it dry completely between coats, you're just gonna move the glitter around and make it even patchier. Let it dry between coats. This is important. Despite being a bit difficult to work with, the size of this glitter is chunkier than the Davis, which makes it catch the light more and a little, makes it a little more shiny. Here's what two coats of the glitter gel looks like on Sunny's chestnut butt. The Twinkle Company recommends the use of a stencil, but I freehanded this design and it was difficult to get it to build nicely. I think one more coat would have made the difference and the edges of my design definitely would have benefited from some sort of stencil, which the company recommends this used with stencils. I think next time I use these, I'm gonna make myself a stencil and apply three coats. I have been wanting glitter hooves for my unicorns to match their glitter horns for so, 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 so long. The application of this product is not as opaque as it is here in the bottle. It's really pretty. You know how excited you get when you buy glitter nail polish and in the bottle it looks all dense and really, really shiny. And so you think your nails are gonna look like that, but then you put on one coat and you realize it's just clear with some chunks of glitter in it. That's what this is. This is the horse version of that. The company recommends two coats and for best results to use it over their satin polish, which is a solid color polish. That's a lot of product, especially when you use up a third of the container for two coats on four hooves. Now they have mixed in some ultra fine glitter with the chunky stuff in this product, which helps with uh, filling in the patchiness, but it just didn't fill it in enough. And just like with the glitter gel, you have to let it dry completely between coats or you're just gonna make it patchier and you're gonna be sad. I don't want you to be sad. That's why I'm making this video. Three coats seem to offer a nice level of glitter, but looking closely, you can still see the natural color variations of his hoof underneath. If you're looking for something that will coat your horse's hooves completely with glitter, this product may disappoint. This product would be best for horses with solid color hooves or if you can use a solid color or hoof polish underneath. I don't think you could do more than three coats because the more I put on, the lumpier it got. And it was not cute up close. Honestly, I did not expect much of this product and I kind of just ordered it just to see what it was like. The bottle leaked during shipping, but it was packaged so well that nothing else in the box was ruined. I just used human nail polish remover to clean up the bottle and then just used it. I'm so happy with this hoof polish. I'm definitely buying it again in all the colors. Look at this. Look at that rich purple. It's so shiny and it lasts forever. The glitter stuff started wearing off of Sunny like the next day, but the purple stuff lasted for weeks. It lasted until the farrier appointment and my farrier made fun of me. And then he told me he charges $20 extra for weirdly colored hooves. I would recommend this for shows, parades, cosplay, as well as just showing up to your weekly lesson like what? And just see what your trainer says. <laughs> the Rainbow Dust Iridescent Frost Body Spray is a no from me. I feel like you can get a sparklier effect from an Instagram filter. Don't hate me, Twinkle. I love you. I really do. I'm in love with your company after ordering these products, but this one just didn't work like I wanted it to work. The way I've done this in the past, which has worked better than this, is getting the cheap hang on. So I got this from the dollar store and when you spray it on, it's still pretty subtle, but you can obviously see the glitter. And in the sunlight, it's like, boom. Coming up Halloween, <laughs> stock up on your glitter spray for your horses, especially like the day after Halloween, where you can go in and clear everything out for like half price. The glitter gel is another possible repurchase, honestly. After trying two different brands of glitter gel, I'm kind of thinking this is how they all work. Weird clear gel with some glitter flakes in it. I wonder if I could do a DIY version of this. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me attempt a DIY glitter gel. The glitter hoof polish is also another maybe repurchase. I wasn't entirely happy with the performance of it, but as you can see from the pics, it does give a shiny, shiny appearance, especially with three coats, and the patchiness is less noticeable from farther away. This would work well for parades and shows and photo shoots where you don't have to have any like up close pictures of the hooves. The satin hoof polish is my new favorite thing and I need some in every color. This is important. <laughs> yes, my farrier made fun of it, but he also said it was not only not harmful to have on the hooves, but it could act as a protectant against the elements. And here in my climate, it gets really wet and then really dry and then really wet and then really dry. The company and my farrier both recommend again using chemical solvents to take the hoof polish off. They recommend either leaving it to wear off naturally or to use some sort of um, abrasive material to scrub it off. You can purchase Twinkle products yourself through most major equestrian 
outlets, but you can also order directly from their website. There is a link to their site in the description box below if you need some of that satin hoof polish. You need some of that satin hoof polish. And while you're down there, there are other links to explore. You can follow me on Instagram, join my Facebook group for extra equestrians, check out my Etsy store, oh, and subscribe to the channel. Every time someone subscribes to this channel, a horse becomes a unicorn with glittery satiny hooves. Don't you want to help the unicorns? Subscribe. Thank you for watching today. I love you so much. I'm so glad I met you. I never want to be apart from you again. <laughs>